Welcome to this video tech tip where I'm going to model a pretty simple ghost trinket to get into the Halloween spirit um, and I'm using X-Shape on the 3D Experience platform. I started off by inserting a rough hand-drawn sketch of my ghost concept into the modeling environment here and I'm inserting a primitive shape of a quad ball and just starting to make some simple changes to have it line up with the body in the background. It's really important that I flatten the base of our shape here so that this can sit on a table or a desk and that the base is totally flat. I can scale the overall shape to match it up with the body there. I've applied symmetry, which is represented by that green line, and that's going to allow me to add material onto the side and just kind of focus working on one arm of our ghost and the changes will propagate over to the other side. You can see here I'm adjusting the arm shape and the shoulder height, if you will. And then I just made the base a little bit wider. Now turning to the side, you can see I needed to adjust the width in that direction. And then I just grabbed the entities at the top and made the head a little bit narrower. Now the magic of X-Shape is just a lot of this pushing and pulling that you'll see me do here. Um, by the way, I know this is in 4X speed. This whole thing took me about 13 minutes to uh, complete from start to finish. Here what I'm doing is just trying to create that billowing effect as if someone just threw a sheet over their head to be a ghost for a really simple Halloween costume, uh, kind of billowing in the wind there. Um, and then I wanted to adjust the arms so that they're not totally symmetrical, even though they still look really similar. That natural wavy effect of the bottom of our ghost is starting to come through on the front, but the back still looks pretty regular. So I'm just going to focus working on the bottom and give it more of an irregular shape across the back. So pushing some points in, some out, and adding detail across the back to get that waving, billowing effect a little bit across the back. I'm satisfied with the shape of the ghost, so now I'm moving over to a different app on the platform called X-Design, where I have access to more of my sketch-based uh, features, parametric modeling. So here I've jumped into a sketch, and I'm using the ellipse tool to draw the shape of the eyes. I could enter dimensions here, but in this case, I'm just kind of trying to get the rough idea. I used a few different methods for the mouth. I tried using a spline, and then I tried a different method with the spline, um, adding some points, making some adjustments. I wasn't totally satisfied with what I was getting there, so I just used a series of arcs in the end and attached them to one another with tangent relations. So we've still got this sort of smooth, rounded shape for the mouth, but it's not a regular shape. It's just kind of looks like a blob. Right, I'm pretty happy with that. So this sketch for the face will be used for a cut down the line. I started to do the cut extrude, then realized I should probably hollow out the model first. So I actually changed over to the shell command, leaving behind one millimeter thickness throughout the body. Then I grabbed that face sketch that I made before and used it for a simple through all cut towards the front. And there we have a super simple ghost trinket. Um, stay tuned for part two where I'll bring this into SolidWorks Visualize to bring it to life.